Welcome to the Simply Rhino, Rhino for Mac tutorial series. I'm Sean from Simply Rhino and in this tutorial I'll be covering polyline, line segments, line and two freeform curve commands. Firstly control point curve and then interpolate point curve. So let's start by just looking at the line command. We can access the line command by placing my cursor over the polyline button here, holding down my cursor and sliding across here to line, then release. Now in bold it's asking me here for the start of the line. My cursor has changed to a small pair of crosshairs which means that I can make a left click or I can type in a coordinate or a distance in this area here. So I make a left click. Now, I'm going to make another left click to define the end of the line. Now, in order to repeat that command, I right click of the mouse and I slide along here to repeat line, line. And I make another left click. Now, I'm just repeating this command just to show you the both sides option. So I clicked on the word both sides there. And you can see now that I, I can, uh, my line is being um, created equidistant about the very first point that I chose. So by clicking on ortho here, I am going to constrain my line to the horizontal and I make a left click. Okay, now just drag a window across those and hit the backspace to delete them. Now let's have a look at polyline. Now if I click on this button here, polyline, start a polyline here in bold. So I make a series of left clicks. Now I'm constrained to 90 degree angles. So if I turn ortho off, I have now complete freedom. If I bring my cursor back to the very start of the line, I can find the very start here by finding the object snap of the point. So that's a polyline. And if I select that, that will be selected as a single object because all the, um, the point at which they, where we have kinks, uh, which kink is a sharp change in direction, um, the curves are joined. Now let's look at a line segment command. If I hold my cursor over polyline here, you see the line segments is listed after polyline, so that means that I can make a right click in order to use the lines command, line segments. So I make a series of left clicks, Okay, very similar to the previous. Again, we can close it with a left click. Now look, if I make a single left click on these objects, it's going to identify them as single open curves. Um, in order to kind of flip between the two different states, I can select my uh, polyline here and I can use my explode icon here to turn that into a series of segments. And just doing the same here, if I window select all these objects here, now I'm going to um, join them. Okay, so it's as if this one now was drawn with a polyline and this one a line segments. Okay, we'll see later how some commands require line segments, some require open curves. Now, just going to window select those and backspace for delete. Now let's have a little look at some free form curves. We'll be just looking at two, two commands. If I make a left click over this button here, that will be a control point curve. You can see now in the top left hand corner it's looking for start of curve and there's my crosshairs. Now I make a series of left clicks on the construction plane and you can see that the points that I pick don't pass through them but it's influenced by them. I press enter to close that. Now let's have a look at a um, interpolate point curve. Now let's find that on the list here. If I hold down my con my button here, I can come to the third one and choose interpolate points. I make a series of left clicks. Now you can see how this differs, okay? The, the curve that I'm creating is driven through the points that I pick. Okay, of course we've got the undo here that will cycle us back through those points. And to close that, I just press enter on the keyboard. Now, let's have a look at the control points of these, uh, these two objects. Now, I'm going to come across to here. Here's my um, points on button and there's my control points. 
So you can see now that I can window select some of these control points. And if I just drag them with the wheel of my mouse, we can see that that's going to alter the shape of my uh, shape of my curve. And I'm just going to press Escape twice to turn those control points off. Thank you for joining us for this tutorial. I hope that was helpful. Please subscribe to our Simply Rhino, Rhino for Mac YouTube channel in order to receive notifications of new tutorials as they are added. Thank you. Goodbye.